A big story we continue to cover potential victims of a doctor who had clinics here and in the Rio Grande Valley could be due untold millions of dollars in damages. So says an attorney who today announced he plans to sue Dr. Jorge Zamora Quesada. The FBI already has accused the physician of massive insurance fraud and money laundering. He's being held without bond, facing up to life in prison if he is convicted. Jesse DeGriado spoke with two plaintiffs who say they were misdiagnosed for illnesses they didn't have and prescribed medications and treatments they didn't need. He was a charmer. He looked like a real doctor. A very wealthy doctor. Dr. Jorge Zamora Quesada had a Maserati and a private jet to go with his lavish homes and condos in the U.S. and Mexico. But if this retired civil service worker has anything to say about it and the pain she still endures. This man cannot be allowed to practice medicine anywhere in the world. I feel like there's metal inside of me instead of bone. Like the Tin Man in The Wizard of Oz says Gabriel, she now feels worse than when she first saw Zamora Quesada. When I came out, I, a couple of months later, I couldn't walk anymore. Even after Gabriel says she got repeated shots in her knees, back, and neck. At one point, I didn't want to live. I became lethargic. I just wanted to die. Dara says she was given chemotherapy shots she didn't need from a doctor she trusted because he had a clinic in Brownsville, her hometown. So I went to see him, and that was my biggest mistake. As for Samora Quesada's other patients, who now may be potential victims. Please, people, get a second opinion, a third opinion. Question your doctors. Question your medications. If your doctor doesn't want to help you, your pharmacist will. For help, you're also urged to call the, the, the FBI victim hotline. The number is on your screen right now. They say there could be hundreds, if not thousands, of potential victims. Now, we also check with the Texas Medical Board, and we're told that uh, Samora Quesada's license remains active, but the board says it is monitoring what they call his custody status. We're live downtown. Jesse Degollado, KSAT 12 News.